Hi everyone, this is Susie with Creative Cafe, and um, I want to show you this quick little journal that I made. This is using the Bella Rouge collection from Prima, and um, I really, really like this little uh, album. This is one of my favorites, I think. Um, it's a five and three quarters by almost five. And um, I went back to some of the basic, oh, just the basic tabs and things like we used to do. Sometimes you just get tired of doing the same thing, and I just wanted to change it up a bit. Now, I was inspired to do this by um, two different people on YouTube. One was a file folder um, mini album that I seen. And gosh, I hunted and hunted. I thought I bookmarked the video, but I didn't, apparently. And um, anyway, mine is a little different than hers anyway. It just inspired me. There's so many uh, tutorials for these file folder uh, minis. Uh, you can just plug in, you know, file folder mini album tutorials, and you can come up with a bunch of them. Um, they're all basically put together the same way. And... Um, the Paper Addiction, Michelle Mooney. I love her little journal books. I've been kind of getting into some of the doodle books and things. Um, and I, she just inspires me because she just does something different than uh, what I do. And I just love her books. But she had done a um, journal, or kind of like a Midori, using the elastic bands. And so when I made this file folder album... I knew that I was going to just put the cover on with the little elastic bands. Um, now mine is totally different than hers and I tried to find her video also but I couldn't find it. So I give up because I didn't want to get dark before I actually uh, got to video this book. So if you'll go to The Paper Addiction, you will not be sorry. She has so many videos, just great videos of her books on there. Um, just go check it out, and uh, I'm sure you'll run across um, the same one that I did. But this is the spine, and it is just held on with these three little elastic bands. That's what holds the cover on. The cover is completely loose, um, other than holding on, you know, stringing through the book here to hold the book in. So um, my cover, though, I think she made her as out of grunge paper, Mine is actually chipboard with some canvas, and that's what mine is made out of. And um, anyway, like I said, I did use the Belle Rouge. The flower is just simply a Michael's flower that I got off their little dollar and a half bin. Um, they had some real cute little um, red and green and, and uh, white flowers, and I picked some up. I forget how many is in a package. It was quite a few in a package, uh, like nine or ten in a package. Um, so I picked up those little flowers, especially with Christmas coming. And uh, here is the back. And uh, anyway, I'm going to show you the book. I'm going to quit talking. Um, here, like I said, the cover is not, the spine and the book are not um, attached down. It's just held on with the bands. I, uh, oops, I need to glue that down. Um, here is just a little booklet. Now, on the Belle Rouge collection, I did buy the um, little 6x6 paper pad. Let me show you what I bought. Um, I bought the 6x6 paper pad, and of course you can see I have just about went through it. Um, there is six double-sided designs with five sheets each, so there's 30 sheets in this pack, and I just about used it all. I did buy the little... Belle Rouge note cards, and I bought the uh, 4x6 journaling cards. And I actually have another uh, 6x6 pad, so I can make me another journal. I have plenty of that left. Uh, and like I said, I wanted to go back to the old way of doing things when we used to use, you know, a long time ago when I first started scrapbooking and doing mini albums, we used a lot of uh, paper clips, a lot of um, uh, safety pins and things like that. And that's what I wanted to kind of get back to. So um, here I've just made a pocket and I actually used a safety pin here with a little um, seam binding and a couple of little journaling cards. 
And these are the craft file folders, is what they are. And here is another little journaling, place for journaling there. And it just sits in the pocket. And then here, of course, is a pocket, and I do have one of the journaling cards in there. And again, safety pin with some twine, just kind of uh, put on there. And then here is just a little place for a photo. And of course, you could put a photo on the back here. And I just simply, of course, hot glued some um, lace on there. And then, once again, a paper clip. And this is just a little place for journaling here. And then, of course, a place for a photo here. And then another little journaling card. I love the Belarus collection, and I have just had a ball doing this. Of course, I used another safety pin. I use safety pins on every every um, little pullout. I've used a tiny safety pin or one of the bigger ones for the uh, journaling cards. But another pullout here. I love these papers. I just fell in love with this collection. And then here is another safety pin holding the two little journaling cards together. And then this comes off and this is a place for a photo and a photo behind here. And I did use some alcohol inks on my paper clips there. And then a pocket going from the side and another little another little booklet here. And I just had this one oops. I guess I better try to get that in there right. And then that goes in like that. And I can't remember where I had the paper clip. Um, and here, of course, is another little pull-out tag. Another, of course, closed uh, safety pin. And it just sits in the pocket. Another uh, pocket here. A couple of more journaling cards. There's lots of place for little pictures if you put, you know, one on each of the journaling cards even. And of course, the blank spots. And then here is another little flip up. And of course, another journaling card. More safety pins. And here is another pull out. And of course a place for a photo here. Another one coming out of the side. And this one I just have two of the journaling cards there. I love the, the scarlet color there. The deep burgundy, whatever you want to call it. And the blues and the greens. They just... They just go so well together. And then here is just a page for a photo. Of course, another pull out. And then here is a couple of little journaling cards. Just journal on the back. Pick that up. This, of course, flips out for a photo there. And then these just, I just kind of paper clipped them to the, and that kind of holds it down. And then here, of course, is another little, and I think I actually turned it wrong. Oops. Let me get that. I should have actually went that way. But anyway, another one of those little journaling cards. And then another little pull out tag there and one thing about they are colored on the back so you could put a picture or journal either one there too and then the very last back of the cover here is another little journaling card and it just sits in 
But anyway, this is this was such a fun little book to make. I just had a ball, and the papers are just gorgeous. So, and like I said, the the only thing holding this in is the the elastic there. So anyway, this is my little my little Belarus album. Uh, thank you so much for.